Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel and today's video is going to be a reaction video of this girl. Her name is Wendy. It's her testimony of how she became a Christian and her whole journey throughout that. And she says in the title of her video, demons are real. So let's go check that out. Let me press screen record and let's watch it together. Hello, my name is Wendy. For those of you who don't know me, uh, this is my testimony on how I came to know Jesus Christ and how I became a Christian. I have been a Christian now for about eight years. Um, I've never publicly shared my testimony before in all that time. And um, the reason being is because my testimony involves demons, demonic oppression, and the spirit world. And unfortunately, in the culture I live in, in American culture, um, the supernatural, the paranormal, the um, spirit world in general is a topic that's just not really um, honored at all. It's kind of mocked instead. There was a lot that happened in high school. I was very depressed, um, empty. There was like a hole in my heart, something that was just unfulfilled. And I did not know what that was, but it was, it was just hard to deal with and hard to push through. But I did, and I made it to college. I really got into partying. I got into partying a lot. I was drinking several times a week. If not multiple times a week, it was at least every weekend. I was smoking a lot of pot. Um, I liked to smoke marijuana at the time, so it was whenever I could afford it, I would. And then I also got involved with um, experimenting with hallucinogenic drugs, and I was going to music festivals and living a hippie lifestyle where it was very close to the earth and uh, free living, paganism, mysticism, Wicca spirituality is what I was involved in. It was while I was in that lifestyle that a demonic entity entered my life. Um, at the time, I did not recognize it as a demon. I was very confused. I was very deceived. There was just this elaborate deception. It's like people will have these like entities that they think aren't like demons or something. They think they're like a spiritual something. Um, but in reality, they are demons and negative forces that are in your life. Um, I don't know. I feel like I've seen this before in like all of those ghost hunter shows. That's what I believe all of that is. But... Yeah, I don't know. I just feel sorry for the poor girl. That's, oh, I don't, that would be really hard to go through. It was like a veil over my eyes. I mean, that's the way the Bible describes it. But at the time, I, I had rejected Christianity from a young age. I really didn't think there was much t truth to it. So I, I never read the Bible. I just didn't really think about it at all. And at the time that this happened, where I started to get um, demonically oppressed, it was basically like a haunting was happening to me. I was living at college at the time, and I lived my college was fairly close to where I had grown up, so I lived in between those places. I would go home on the weekends, most weekends, and then spend my week at school. And this haunting was, it was just, it was inside of me. It was following me wherever I went. And the best way I can describe it was just like your typical haunting you see on TV. It was very real. Uh, most people did not believe me. I was kind of coming unhinged. I was mentally unstable. I was just sad all the time. My depression was out of control. My anxiety was out of control. I was inebriated a lot. I was definitely using substances too much. It was basically self-medication. I had gone numb. Um, I was making terrible choices. I had no respect for myself. Uh, it was just a really, really bad time. And so then with this demonic activity added on, I just started to completely unravel and I was basically slipping into madness. So I started reaching out to people around me. I reached out to um, friends and family a little bit, but um, I was careful what to say to some people because I knew that they just wouldn't understand what I was going through. They wouldn't believe it. But a lot of people, I just told them what was happening to me and they all just thought it was crazy. A lot of my friends that I partied with, I could really tell didn't want to hang out with me anymore. And quite honestly, I can understand why. I was just such a mess that I think I was just too too weird for them and too deep for them at the time. Some people did try to help me, but they didn't really know how. And there was only one person that I know really believed me and accepted what I was saying was true and that I was actually being haunted. It was one of my roommates and my best friend at the time. That She was with me a lot and she just saw some things that were totally unexplainable. And she didn't know what or she didn't know why, but she knew that something was tormenting me that we couldn't explain. So this was the state of my life. I'm about 21, 22 years old. This is going on. I was haunted like this for two years. And at the end of this two-year period, I was so broken that I am convinced that I would have killed myself or I just would have died of the demon would have killed me. I was so not okay at all. It was in this time that I ended up meeting the man who is now currently my husband. Now, at that time, he met with me and we went on a date. And I'm not even sure why he went on a date with me, but I'm pretty convinced that it was God. It was something divine because it was just the timing was perfect. If it wasn't for this, I don't even know where I'd be today. But he was very open and not ashamed of what he believed, and he wasn't afraid to talk about it. He's a very open, welcoming person. So he and I started debating for about three days straight. We would meet with each other, and we would talk, and we'd talk and talk. And I was telling him my beliefs, which were, you know, I was pagan, and I was into Wicca. And That's awesome that she found someone that would believe her and talk to her and be able to have this debate of, like, what you believe, what I believe. And it sounds like this guy was a really good, solid Christian man, so... That's such a blessing, and I'm so happy for her that she was able to meet him. How great is that? I didn't believe in God or Jesus. Um, I wasn't a complete atheist, as I had been at one point in my life, but I was now, I guess you'd call it agnostic. I just, I believed in something, but I wasn't willing to define it. And he believed very passionately about God and Jesus, and he believed in angels and demons. And um, so we went back and forth, basically just having these really deep discussions about life where we just did not agree. We had these discussions, and it was the third day. 
I went to his place and he said, well, do you want to watch a movie? So I said, sure, let's watch one. And um, he said, go ahead and pick one. There's a box there. So I was going through the DVDs and for whatever reason, I picked out The Exorcism of Emily Rose. Now, that is a freaky movie. I don't know how many of you have seen it, but I don't even know why I chose it. I had already seen the movie I saw in theaters and it was creepy then, but I mean, I'm not even that into horror, so I don't know why I picked it to watch. So anyway, I picked it out and he said, sure, let's watch it. So I put it in and we're watching this movie. And as we're watching it, um, I just, it was like, it was like I'd been punched in the gut. It was just this feeling of like, this movie is so familiar to my life. And I just was watching it and I'm like, I think that this is happening to me. This is kind of a first that a horror movie made someone realize that demons were probably in their life and that eventually led her to God. How crazy is that testimony? Wow. I was not expecting that. That's pretty cool. Very disconcerting and I was just, I was so uncomfortable for the whole movie as I was watching it. I could barely get through to the end because it was so disturbing to me because I just, I could see the parallels with my life, so many parallels and I, I was disturbed. So at the end of this movie, I looked at him and I said, you know, I think this is happening to me. What's happening to the girl in the movie? And in this three-day discussion we've been having, I've been telling him about, you know, my haunting and my, what I had come to now think was like a spirit guide. And he had already suggested to me that he thought it was a demon and it was trying to control my life and to steal my soul. And I had, you know, kind of just shrugged that away in our conversation. But he said, no, I think you're right. I think that is what's happening to you. And so he asked, can I pray for you? And it was in that moment when he asked me that, that, that I opened just the tiniest sliver of my heart to the possibility that God might exist just the tiniest crack in the door of my heart um, to him. And I thought within myself, I kind of prayed and said, God, if you're real, if Jesus Christ is real, I want to know the truth. And so I took his hands and he started to pray for me. And the prayer was very simple. He just prayed, you know, God, thank you for Wendy. I want to lift Wendy up before you. I pray in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, that this demonic oppression would be lifted from her and that the demons will have to leave and that it, she would no longer be burdened by this. This was literally the defining, changing moment of my life. It just changed everything for me. It was like, the finger of God reached down, and now this was a vision, I mean, I wasn't seeing it with my eyes, but it was within me. The finger of God reached down and just touched my center, like the center of my being. And there was this brilliant flash of white light, like an explosion, and the power in this light, it was like, there was like color in it, but it was white, brilliant white at the same time, and it, it was just a love and a purity just swept through my whole body. The darkness that was inside of me was obliterated, literally obliterated, nothing left of it. I felt it go, and it was gone. And I let go of his hands after the prayer was over, and I just sat there kind of in shock, because the depression and the heaviness that had been on me, that had weighed me down for so long, was gone. The hole in my heart, that emptiness I had talked about earlier, it was filled. I was no longer, there was no longer an emptiness. And I was just breathtaking and mind blown, and I just couldn't even, I couldn't even wrap my mind around it. I was, I was kind of in shock. And uh, everything just felt different. It was like, you know, you pat yourself down, like when you're trying to find something that you're carrying on you and it's not there, you're like, where is it? It had just been so many years carrying this burden and the depression and the, like, the emptiness that I didn't even know what it felt like not to have that. And now all of a sudden here I am and, and I'm liberated, I'm free of it. And it was amazing, but so overwhelming. And I just sort of sat there in shock and actually tried to convince myself a few times, no, that didn't happen. You're just, you're just, you wanted it to happen. You're just, you're just acting crazy. But there was no denying this. It was, it changed my life forever. That exact moment, that exact prayer in the name of Jesus, the demons cannot stand. And it was in that moment that I just knew the truth of it. It had been a demon. God was real. Jesus was real. It all was real. And I had just been liberated by that power that they talk about. Wow. What an amazing story. Uh, I believe her. I don't know about you all, but I think I believe her. But let me know what you all think down below in the comments. Uh, this is pretty wild. Do you think this is something that a lot of people face on the daily? Because I think I do, but it's disguised as other things. And yeah, I don't know. That was just pretty remarkable. What a great story. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see y'all next time. And let me know if you like this kind of video because I've been really into listening to other people's testimony. If it's particularly wild, would you guys like me to make a video on it? So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. You can check out her video link down below. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye.